大家好，我叫魏高木，我是特勒华大学的本科生，我专业是中文，还有东亚研究。二零一三年，我获得了孔子学院奖学金，去中国厦门大学学习中文半年。Hi, my name is Graham Messner, and I'm an undergraduate here at the University of Delaware. In 2013, with the support of the Confucius Institute, I was able to fund an entire semester abroad at Xiamen University. Now please take a look at my wonderful trip to China. Hey, if you have time, we'll eat together. Okay, okay. See you. See you, man. Bye-bye. Bye. You know, I've been studying Chinese for about five years now, but it wasn't until I came to the Confucius Institute and applied for a position as a student assistant that I was really gaining the exposure to be able to travel to the other side of the world and visit China. The Confucius Institute is a collaborative effort between the University of Delaware and Xiamen University in Xiamen, China. On October 19, 2010, the Confucius Institute at the University of Delaware was officially launched. Just two years after its inauguration, and with the support of the university's central administration, the Confucius Institute was able to move here, into this single building over on the east side of University of Delaware's main campus. From here, the Confucius Institute remains a landmark in UD's global outreach and enhanced community efforts. A board of directors, including seven senior administrators from both universities, oversee the operations of the institute. Dr. Jian Guo Chen, director of the Chinese program at the University of Delaware, serves as director of the Confucius Institute. Dr. Chen received his PhD in Chinese and Comparative Literary Studies from the University of California, Davis. He is a renowned scholar with many publications in Chinese cultural studies, modern Chinese literature, and comparative literature and theory. Professor Jen Jun Huang, Deputy Dean of the Overseas Education College at Xiamen University, is co-director of the Confucius Institute. Before coming to Delaware, he was the first co-director of the Confucius Institute at Meifang Long University in Thailand. Professor Huang graduated from Jiangxi University of Traditional Chinese Medicine. He is also a master of Tai Chi as well as Chinese calligraphy. In 2013, in recognition of the Confucius Institute's extensive efforts and positive influence in the community in this region, Dr. Jen Guo Chen was invited to an exclusive VIP gathering by Vice President Joe Biden. The Confucius Institute strives to promote Chinese language and culture to the general public and facilitate cross-cultural understandings, promote international education opportunities, and improve academic collaboration in the Delmarva region. The Confucius Institute and our partner with Xiamen University is critical to the University of Delaware. If you look at our strategic plan, our path to prominence, one of the key milestones is our global engagement. We want to expand our knowledge and our engagement with the world. That's what the Confucius Institute helps us do in China. The Confucius Institute is a university-wide institute in which interdisciplinary and global academic and cultural programs and initiatives are developed with ample participation from a variety of colleges, departments, and other units throughout the campus. In partnership with the Office of the Provost, the Confucius Institute has organized the Higher Education Training Program for the administrators from Xiamen University. This program consists of a lecture series from central administrators, focusing on various important aspects of the American higher education and overall structure of the University of Delaware in particular. Participants also receive extensive English training and live with American host families. In two years, a total of 56 administrators from Xiamen participated in the four-week training program. Another mission of the Confucius Institute is to promote as a platform scholarly exchange between the University of Delaware and its Chinese partner institutions by coordinating international or national conferences, symposiums, workshops. We have successfully launched two lecture series, UD Peking University Distinguished Scholar Lecture Series and China Forum. We bring renowned scholars on China studies to talk about various important aspects of Chinese culture and society. The Confucius Institute also provides the students the opportunity to study abroad in China. Han Yu Shui Ping Kao Shi is the first step of the Confucius Institute. 
The HSK Chinese Proficiency Test is the first step in applying for the Confucius Institute scholarship to study abroad. In May of 2012, the Confucius Institute became one of the few official testing centers in the Northeast to offer Chinese proficiency tests on a monthly basis. Now, more than 60 testers from local communities as well as Connecticut, New York, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, and even as far as Sweden have come to the University of Delaware to take the HSK. The Confucius Institute offers various scholarships for students who are interested in learning the language, the culture, or seeking advanced academic training or career opportunities in teaching Chinese as a second language through Shaman University. As of February 2014, the Confucius Institute has offered full scholarships for nine UD students. Two of them are now enrolled in a master program of teaching Chinese as a second language. Seven undergraduate students have been to or are currently learning Chinese language and culture at Shaman University. When I was younger, studying Chinese was only a dream, and it only became a reality when I got into the University of Delaware. Now there are many advantageous programs offered to middle schoolers and high schoolers throughout America. The National Security Language Initiative for Youth is part of a U.S. government initiative to promote international dialogue and encourage American youth to engage with people from around the world. Since 2011, the Confucius Institute at UD has become a partner with the U.S. State Department's Bureau of Education Affairs in this Nestle initiative. And over the years, the programs we have been implemented has been highly recognized and praised by program participants, the University of Delaware and the State Department. The Confucius Institute has now established partnerships with more than 10 K-12 schools within the region, all teaching Chinese on various levels. Governor Jack Markell's World Language Expansion Initiative is a world language education plan that prepares Delaware students with the language skills to compete in an ever-changing global economy at home and around the world. A part of this initiative involves beginning immersion programs in elementary schools throughout the state. The Caesar Island School Board commends the University of Delaware's Confucius Institute as a recipient of the Spirit of Caesar Island Volunteer Award. The Caesar Rodney School District is very fortunate to have been selected by the state of Delaware under the governor's initiative to begin a Chinese immersion program at McIlvain Early Childhood Center, the first immersion program in the state of Delaware. As you can imagine, tremendous challenge for us. Part of the key to our success has been getting parents to understand about the Chinese language and the Chinese culture. The Confucius Institute, having people at all of our parent parties, helped us inform our parents and get their support. In addition, we talked about how do we extend that language learning into the summer, and that's how Camp Nihao was born. The Confucius Institute helped plan, helped execute, and helped support on a daily basis the camp here at McIlvain. Camp Nihao had a profound impact on McIlvain and the language learning initiative here. Kids came to school on August 26, 2013, ready to go. That would not have happened if it had not been for the Confucius Institute. The continuous conversations that we have with the Confucius Institute and the strong collaborative partnerships and friendships that we've developed over time have only made it better for our staff, made it better for our students, and, and made it better for those school families. Starting in the fall of 2013, the Confucius Institute was invited by the district to help with its first grade Chinese immersion classes in the Allen Freer Elementary School and W.B. Simpson's Elementary School in Dover. Teachers from the institute observed classes, met with immersion teachers and school administrators, and provided instructional assistance by designing class materials in the areas of science and social studies that they needed the most. One of the issues we are facing is staffing. Confucius Institute is very generous in providing volunteers and teaching assistants. Volunteers come into the classroom, help with classroom management, help with lesson preparation. They also do story readings to the kids and have conversations, you know, just to practice Chinese with their kids. In fall of 2013, Downs Elementary School, located in Newark, Delaware, started its first Chinese immersion classes with 50 kindergarten students. Downs Elementary School has been partnering with the Confucius Institute for the past year. We have been very fortunate for this collaboration. They have provided us with a lot of opportunities to enable our students and our families to be involved in our new Chinese world language immersion program. The Confucius Institute fully utilizes the Chinese students' resources at the University of Delaware to form an art troupe to showcase Chinese arts and culture on campus 
and to local schools. From early February until late March, the Chinese New Year celebrations benefit many schools that have established collaborations with the CI. Yes, yes. The Delaware Academy of Public Safety and Security is a public charter school in Newcastle, Delaware, and the first school to collaborate with the Confucius Institute. Chinese classes are called Explore China, where both the language and culture are introduced to grades 9 through 11. Since the Explore China program launched three years ago, eight teachers from Hanban have taught there. The students here in America are quite different. I put great efforts in planning my lesson, try to make it more appealing to the students. I think love, patience, responsibility, and constant communication are essential in gaining the respect of the students and the school. The Confucius Institute also works closely with local private schools, such as Ursuline Academy in Wilmington and Archmere Academy in Claymont. Ursuline offers Chinese to students pre-K through grade 12, and we're very proud of the program. The students love it, but we could not have done this without our partnership with the Confucius Institute. The Chinese program at Archmere started in the fall of 2013 with the financial support from Dr. Dennis O'Brien, a local entrepreneur and philanthropist. Now, the Chinese classes are open to newly enrolled 9th graders, and the Chinese club activities are open to all 9th through 12th grade students in the school. Most recently, Dr. O'Brien has put a pledge for 250,000 US dollars to further support our very ambitious language and cultural programming, for which we remain thankful. In addition to Dr. O'Brien, many Confucius Institute students are also community supporters and are engaged in CI activities and programs throughout the state. Roseanne Murphy, a retired elementary school teacher, has been training new teachers for the Confucius Institute since 2012. I felt as though something monumental was happening here. We were building a bridge between China and the United States. And through the Confucius Institute, this bridge of friendship was becoming very powerful, very well constructed. Jian Junhuang, co-director of the CI, is responsible for the overall management of Chinese teachers from Hanban. We provide various opportunities to our teacher in career development and encourage our teacher engage in pedagogical research. Ming Wu, the first visiting scholar and Chinese teacher at the University of Delaware's Confucius Institute, has published one journal article while her textbook designed for adult learners is on the way. The way to teach Chinese really matters. It will help the student to understand the language better. So I started to collect the teaching materials and build my own website. It is an ongoing project. I really hope one day teachers all over the world could share my experience. Dr. Ming Wu is just one of a great team that carries out the missions and tasks of promoting Chinese language and culture at the Confucius Institute. I'm so pleased that I came here to the University of Delaware to study Chinese language. I'm fascinated by Chinese language and I'm fascinated by the culture. But most importantly, I love the fact that I found a family here at the Confucius Institute. I love the Confucius Institute. I, I love, love the Confucius, Confucius Institute. Institute. Well, I, I Kong Yan. Yeah. Yeah.